I thought, well, gee, are we that poor, you know? And it was that way. Well, like I say, we had a lot to eat, but no, no money. And uh, I called up, uh, I called, wanted to see a neighbor boy that I night hunted with. And I said, Ray, let's go in, not tell our parents, and join the CCCs. I said, they're in town tomorrow, so he said, okay. So we go in there, <clears throat> this thing, and they had a little application there that they fill you out, and he said to this guy that said, signing them up, he said, uh, he said, uh, Bollinger, you can go. But he said, Kunkel, he said, uh, you can't go, you're too young, you're only 15, and you have to be 17, you know, to join the CCs. I said, sir, He's 17, I can do any damn thing he can. I said, I said, or he said to me, he said, here, change that date there from birth, date of birth, 1921, to 1919. <laughs> I was 17 years old and uh, signed in and left that same day to St. Louis, St. Louis to Quincy, Illinois. We got a, stayed in a caboose all night. And then the next morning they took us out to New Canton, Illinois, a little town, and still up there. Um, do you know where that camp was? Camp Ho, New Canton, Illinois. And sometime we would uh, plant willow branches so that that would hold all that dirt and that. And we also worked on roads, you know, worked on roads. They had a quarry right out of the edge of New Canton. They had a quarry there. And everybody worked in there, you know, at different times and different things. In Elko, Wisconsin, the first, when we got up there in October, we planted trees. I they planted enough of pine trees, pine trees to, to build a subdivision, I'll tell you. <laughs> I always said I ought to go back and get some of that lumber. i tell you what, the CCs made a man out of me, made a man out of a lot of guys.